Hi everyone, this is Frank DeMar with the End Times Research Ministry. On April 20th, 2017, I put up a post dealing with bird flus and how the bird flu and all of its different strains which are mutating are causing the havoc around many parts of the world and millions upon millions of different types of birds are literally dying in mass numbers. I told you in that video that I've been warning about these changes that were going to take place as far back as 2008. And in that video, I also gave you updates from my warnings of 2009, 2013. And periodically since 2013, I've been warning that you mutations are going to come and you're going to see many, many reports. And that's exactly what's happened. Now, today, I just want to show you another area has been hit with, again, bird flu. This report came out by Rutgers yesterday, April the 24th of 2017. Iran reports H5N1 bird flu outbreak in northern part of the country, OIE. Iran has reported an outbreak of highly contagious H5N1 bird flu virus in backyard ducks in the northern part of the country, the World Organization. For Animal Health, OIE said on Monday, citing a report from the Iranian Agriculture Ministry. The outbreaks killed 10 birds out of a total of nearly 230 in a house in Mahudabad on the coast of the Caspian Sea, the OIE said in a report posted on its website. All other animals were destroyed. So every one of these birds had to be destroyed and that's the case we've seen so many different times when the birds get infected if there's 10 they have to kill them all if there's 10 birds in a flock of 10,000 10,000 birds will have to be destroyed it goes on to say last year Iran had reported outbreaks of another highly contagious bird flu virus the H5N8 so different forms of these bird flus are killing off the birds. If you're new to prophecy, you're probably wondering the connection between what the Lord warned and these current events, the news that we're seeing. Well, when you take a look at the screen, you'll see the scriptures that I'm referring to, and you could just read them for yourself. But the bottom line is we are seeing the signs of the last days. This is only one of the many signs, but they're definitely right before us. Also yesterday, on April the 24th of 2017, there was another article about turkeys that had to be killed in Russia. The Federal Service for Veterinary and Cytosanctuary Surveillance reported a new case of registration of flu of birds at the site. Varadin, the largest Russian producer of turkey meat, has said the representative of the GC Varadin Olga Kirkova, the group took measures to prevent the possible spread of disease. On the site of the destroyed 42,000 heads, according to a preliminary data, the value of the destroyed poultry may be about 16 million ruples. The final tally of losses taking into account costs for disposal and quarantine measures will be made after completion of the work, said Grekov. So here we go again. We had all the birds destroyed who got in contact with this type of bird flu. So the scenario just keeps going and going and the reports keep coming in just like I told you they would. And, of course, all I'm doing is pointing to exactly what the Lord told us. You can't go wrong if you believe the word of the Lord because I know he tells the truth. And when he says these things are coming, count on it. They're coming, and they're here. There's another report I just pulled up for April the 24th of 2017. Avian flu, bird flu symptoms, influenza, H5N1 virus outbreaks at Quail Ranch, Vet learning materials. Now the video's five minutes and 11 seconds. I'm only gonna play a segment of it because in this segment, it talks about the quail in vaccines. And the vaccines that you're going to see here in a second, 
they don't work all the time on the chickens and they don't have any vaccines for the quails so the quails are dying off listen to this pathological symptoms very similar to flu cases in layer chicken the lesion is found in egg follicles and hemorrhages in abdominal fat but very many quail that died without significant pathological lesion in quail, a vaccination program against avian influenza is not common. The vaccine industry is still focused on making the vaccine for chicken industry. Not yet for quail, so very many quail breeders did not vaccinate their quail. In fact, in some breeders who have made vaccination using vaccines for chickens, cases of influenza still occur in their quail. It needs further research how to achieve optimal protection through vaccination. So I'm going to end it there because the scientists who are working on these vaccinations, they know that it's not going to be 100%. And as of right now, when the chickens get the diseases, as I said, all of them have to be killed because they can't take the chance of this disease spreading to other chickens and then the people eating them. That would be disastrous. Google sends me notifications when new articles come up that I've been searching for. And here's another one, human cases of bird flu in China on the rise. So I'll go right over to that one. According to Hong Kong Center for Health Protection, the CHP, 27 more cases were reported from April 14th to April 20th. Seven of new cases were fatal. Out of the latest cases, 21 were exposed to poultry, poultry markets, or market stalls. Their ages range from 34 to 79, and 16 are men, and 11 are women. China has now reported at least 639 cases in the unprecedented fifth H7N9 wave. At least 186 of them were fatal. Beijing, H7 and 9 cases have soared to 13 after having only three cases a few weeks ago. Seven of the cases were local and six were imported from other places. All local patients were exposed to live poultry or poultry market, three of them having contact with dead poultry. So now you can see why the scientists and the CDC is worried about a pandemic breaking out if the humans who get this bird flu start passing it on to other humans and that's why the scientists are working so rigorously trying to figure out and come up with vaccinations that will kill this type of bird flu or its mutating versions and since I'm on this subject of diseases I want to bring to your attention the reports that have been filed concerning the birds, the fish, and the animals dying off in mass numbers. And I want to pick up where I left off from, and it would be from April the 4th of 2017, and I'll give you the newest articles that came in. following report from Thailand, April the 19th, 2017.
oggi è il 22 aprile, sono le 9.32 e purtroppo è tutto vero, ecco io non so come si, ci si è arrivati a questa situazione, però posso garantirvi che 